even though I don't have enough money and I want to attract all this abundance and I want so much and need so much and have been so deprived and don't deserve to be in the situation that I am and I will I refuse to think that this was my fault I now choose to think to find a way that it's okay even if I don't think I can I am open to learning ways to let financial worries go and income in I have all these limiting beliefs which I can choose to work on now and later limiting beliefs about me not being worthy to be rich or me not worthy to getting something or I don't have the skills or I don't have the knowledge or I'm stuck or people are involved and I can't get out all these reasons all these reasons I choose to think all of all these reasons why I don't have money right now and why I have so much stress over financial issues all these reasons all these reasons all these reasons I have all these reasons and think of all the reasons I have all these reasons to worry all this stress about financial issues you don't understand it's not just about tapping this is my family this is my house this is my life you don't get it tap on yourself and tell me oh gee stress you don't understand nobody understands it's more than just oh stress this is my life I don't know what to do I don't know what to do I've tried everything you don't understand I've tried everything there is nothing else there is nothing else I have nowhere to turn I have nowhere to turn and even though there's no solution to this I choose to let one fall out of the sky on my head even though I have no solution to this absolutely no solution because I've thought of everything I choose to let one fall out of the sky on my head and why not I want a door to open or a window anything because there is no rec recourse right now I'm desperate I'm desperate I'm so tired I'm so tired and I'm so desperate and I'm so tired and I'm so desperate and I'm so tired and I'm so desperate and I'm so tired and I'm so desperate I just want to leave run away I'm so tired and I'm so desperate and even though I have all these financial worries and I have all this financial stress and it gets me angry and sad and upset and worried and I have all this financial stress I deeply and completely accept and love myself for even trying this even if it's not going to work tapping for finances tapping for finances tapping for financial stress tapping for financial stress not enough money nowhere to turn 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 screw this this isn't helping this isn't helping and even though this isn't helping maybe on some level it is and even though this isn't helping maybe on some level it is I wonder if I can find a window I wonder if there's a choice I don't know about I wonder if there's something I haven't seen yet and all my worry I wonder if some kind of blindfold has been put down on a choice over there maybe a choice over there or maybe I've just been looking in front of me of all the problems 
and I haven't been able to see the choices beside me. That's not true. Not true. I've looked at everything. I am just in the middle of nowhere. I am just completely and totally desolate. You don't understand. There is no choice here. I've looked at everything. And I'm mad that I don't have a choice. Other people have choices. Other people have choices. Why don't I have a choice? And even though I don't have a choice, and I'm mad at other people for having a choice, perhaps I choose to find a choice. Even if there's no choices. Because if they have a choice, I choose to find their choices. I choose to find their choices. I choose to find their choices because my choices aren't good. Just do that. Their choices. My choices aren't good for me. So I choose to have some of their choices. And so even though maybe I can find some other people's choices, I might be okay with that. I might be okay with that. Finding other choices that belong to somebody else that I could use. Finding other choices that belong to other people that I can use. Other people's choices that I can use. I choose to look at those choices. I do choose to look at those. In fact, I'm excited about looking at their choices. Making other people's choices my choices. Making other people's choices my choices. I choose to make other people's choices my choices whenever appropriate. So even though I don't seem to have any choice right now, other people have choices. And I now choose to find those choices and how they fit into my life. I choose that. Other people's mistakes, other people's successes, and learning from them. Listening to other people's choices and how they did it so that I can use them in my life. I can do that. I can do that. So even though I don't have any choices in my own life, I have now cho chosen to find the choices by looking at someone else. And I love and accept myself. And now, I choose to f other people's choices to drop out of the sky on me. Or maybe I can just see them because I don't have any of my own choices. So I now choose other people's choices too. And maybe their choices are, are better because they have more money. And they have more choices. But maybe they have some I can use. And I'm excited about that. Because mine aren't good enough. And maybe without looking at their choices, I will see some more choices in my life that resemble that, that I can pick up on and use their stuff for me. Because that would be great. All this stress about financial worries. All this stress about financial worries and no choices. All this stress about financial worries and no choice and no way to get out of it. Maybe there is a way if I use other people's choices. Got to find someone like me? Nope. I choose to let other people's choices, even if they're not appropriate for me, find a way in and make itself so I understand a way to use it for me choose to find a way to use it for me. I choose to get that understanding so I do have a different choice and I love and accept myself. And I'm proud of myself for doing that. So even though I'm in a financial crisis and thinking can't get my way out of it and all this stuff can't get my way out of it, I choose now just for a little bit to find a different way to open the door and open a window and to see the bright side so that I can choose to make it better. Not pull the wool over my eyes, oh, it's gonna be better, but to see my options. 
and I love and accept myself and my options.